Hey guys, here we are with Angel Season 5, Episode 10, and in the last episode, um, it was an episode that was uh, around Harmony, primarily. Um, I don't know if she's going to end up being a bigger character or not because of that episode, or what's going to end up happening I always kind of wanted to like Harmony, but she's always just kind of been annoying, too, which that's her character. She's supposed to be that way. So, yeah, I know that the last time that she was uh, in the show when she came to visit Cordelia and all that. Well, she wasn't there to visit Cordelia, but you know what I mean. Um, I really thought that she was going to be, like, good and, like, I had high hopes for her and then it didn't end up working out very well. So, yeah. I'm hoping that she ends up being good. So we'll see. Um, but anyway, yeah. I think by now, the mystery boxes are now officially live. You may get your mystery boxes. I am so excited. Um, just let me know what you think. Oh, also in the merch. So if you want all that, link is in the description down below. But... Anyway, um, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next ones, please feel free to check out my Patreon and the link in the description below. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. Uh-oh. They're going to have to tell us what happened here. Oh, they did. Spike. Maybe it's a dream or something. Spike, wait. That's not a prize you're holding. It was never about you. Cheers. Mm. No. I don't really know if Spike wants it anymore. Because I think the main reason why he wanted it was to go back to Buffy. And he could still really go back to Buffy. But he didn't. So... Uh, yeah. Thanks. Lindsay. But, uh, you're all really my type, Harry. Uh, so be a good lad and push on. Is he gonna try to team up with Spike? What are you gawking at? Guy like you? Whiling away his time with some cheesy downtown strip dive? Hey, Spike. Getting interesting mail lately? Oh. Who the bloody hell are you? Your new best friend. Does he really still have a big vendetta against Angel? Must know there's a lot of folks out there that are interested in you. Powerfully interested one might. Oh. Enough with the cryptic, Butch. I want to know who or what, what you, you are, are, what you want. You can call me Doyle. It's not what I want. It's what you want. Did he just say his name was Doyle? That is not what he said. Is he in? Is he uh, in? Angel? Guys. Hey, in my plan, he still wakes up dead by Thursday. Guys. He wakes up dead. <laughs> CEO, right here, in the dark. So are we doing this because it's right? Or because it's cost effective? Um, well... Both? A little of both, actually. Yes, oddly, once again, we find ourselves in a bit of a gray Don't area. Say mm. that. Can we just get through one damn day without saying that? Okay. Explain oh, this was again. directed by him as well. You hate this city. There's got to be a reason, right? Talk a lot for somebody saying nothing. You've got a destiny. Ooh. Like the destiny that was supposed to be at the bottom of a cup of perpetual nothing. What? He sent Angel and me on that wild goose chase. I don't know anything. That's bullshit. I'm just doing what they tell me. They? Who's they? they? Them! Bringing you back. Look, what, the powers of the or a guy, Wolf from and Heart? A nobody, a drifter. I, I was minding my own business, and then one day, wham! Brain pictures, but they hurt. Like when you eat ice cream too fast. You start seeing people in trouble. He said his name was Doyle. 
We need a champion. Chump, every time you get a vision of someone in dire peril. Why do you think we're having this conversation? I'm so confused. Right before I came so, here. is Angel or not? I'm sorry. Is leave. Lindsay really Lindsay, or is he Doyle? Tonight, and you didn't let the finger to stop it. Ask yourself. Can you live with that? Get out of here. Can't do it. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. Oh. Um. I think you did, bud. I was just trying to get home. Go get a cab, you moron. And on the way, if a stranger offers you candy, don't get in the van. Spike's Stupid such an cow. asshole. Believe me now. What, your victim vision? Please. Can't throw a bloody stone in this. But if it is Doyle, does he have the memories? Epic battle. My finest hour. That's what I want to know. He's kind of dressing life. like Doyle. You just helped the person when there wasn't anything in it for you. That's not like the Spike I know. Oh, is that right? And Aww. what Spike is that? Spike that's only out for himself. Let's kill them all. What? Warlocks, minions. They're all evil. Sold their kids to the devil. Let's just wipe them all out. We got the power to do that, right? He's being like... Yes, but Angel... Why don't we? I don't Let's think he's being serious. Good versus evil? Offing the monsters where we find them? Wait, we have to tread light here, Angel. We can't afford to... Any hint of him carrying word back to Drake, we go with Wes's plan. Are you sure you're all right? You don't look so good. Yeah, I just need to get some rest. He's like extra go. pale. Rest and. I wonder what that look was for. I do remember the last time Angel. that they talked. Angel kept giving away, like, little things about Connor. Hey, Wes. Barely on your feet. Yeah. Uh, I don't feel right. Well, that's understandable. You better, that's not You've Wes. You've got a lot on your mind. Must be hard adjusting to the new situation. Situation? Like. Finally coming to grips with the truth. That you're irrelevant. Ooh. Is this another dream? It'll make this a lot easier. Yeah. What? What are you? Yep. He is pulling the full angel. What were those things? You're better off not knowing, believe me. Wait. What's your name? Who are you? I'm the hero. I accidentally authorized a few Bath of the Month subscriptions. On accident. Give them my authorization code, have them cut a check, send it immediately. But they must suspect it's powerful because they're chomping at the bit to learn whatever they can. We'll do our best. Probably goes without saying, but... I'll have it for you as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. That's my boy. Also, anytime something comes in with runes on it, I'm supposed to tell Angel immediately. And not try and read the runes myself. Because that can cause a fire. Again. As soon as we have some answers, we'll fill him in. I think something's wrong. Okay. Okay, don't worry. I know what to do. This is also a dream. Let's take a look under the hood. What? <laughs> Bread? so bad was it so far so good let's see what what is that raisins uh the license plate in there. came up the gulf stream huh Uh, 
Or Angel. Vigilante reportedly killed two vampires at a gas station and then asked the women he saved if they'd, quote, like to get a bottle of hooch and listen to some Sex Pistols records with him. Are we sure so they know Angel's it's just tired and not, um, crazy? Mm. Read the description. Medium build, black leather coat. White hair. Black and blonde hair. Windows don't get direct sunlight. We've got sewer entrance for your daytime travel. What, no cable? Mm. You got water, electricity, heating, all the basics. He really is dressing like Doyle, though. Pool. Open all night. And I don't think he knew Doyle. Did he? I think Doyle was only in season one. I mean, a man of your means must have money tucked away somewhere. You'll find something soon. He may have known Doyle. I'm offering you a place to hang your hat. Could say thank you. Great. Another ruddy basement. Well, you want creature comforts? You can go to Wolfram and Hart. This place. I mean, he's stayed in worse. Is everything you need to be a hero? Job requires somewhat of a Spartan existence. You call that a bed? Well, it's not like you're going to be sharing it with anyone anytime soon. Oh. Oh, no. Is that going to be like Buffy and Spike? Spike? Keep it down, mate. You've got something on your shirt there. Every time I say the word prop, yep. you get grouchy. Buffy? Hey, look who it is. How you feeling? Better. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> Angel. You're not wearing any shoes? Yeah. Yep, just another dream. What, another apocalypse? Hey, down in front. Yeah, Angel, you're blocking the apocalypse. Yep. I have to do something. Put some clean clothes on. You got a little something on your shirt there, babe. So something is messing with him. Spike, you single-handedly ended Armageddon and turned the world into a beautiful, happily ever after Candy Mountain place where all our dreams come true. <laughs> beautiful, isn't uh, it? The living end. And now, it's time for your reward. <laughs> Aw, he's the male guy. No offense, Mr. Vader, but I've got no itch to join the evil empire. It's different. You know it. We've changed things. <sighs> Look. Is it? I told Angel and I'll tell you. I mean, it is, place like but... that doesn't change. Not from the inside, not from the out. Playing by a new set of rules. And so what? You want me to uh, put on a suit, come play with you? Something like that. I can't believe Angel would sign off on that. Unless... He doesn't know you're here. He doesn't know you're here, does he? Nope. That mean you're gonna give me what I want? Or are you gonna keep up the teasing all day? Good girls always get what they want. Where did he look at? Oh. Any word from Angel? Oh, haven't heard a peep. Maybe That's we not should weird. call him, check in. Act like we care. Good plan. Oh, you want me to? Now would be good. Unless you've got something important. No, I was just gonna... I can't wait until they wait. figure out her whole situation. We paid good money for this. We paid blood for this. And the crowd's turning on you, sport. Ooh. <laughs> well, you poor thing. That's gross. Wow. 
You killed Junior. I'm not here, Angel. You're dreaming. No, he's not. But don't worry. Not anymore. The dream's almost over. of a cleanup. Spike. That was gross. No need to thank me. Just helping the helpless. So <laughs> if this parasite continued pumping its toxins into Angel... He would have been stuck in a permanent vegetative state. Well, good thing Spike swooped in and saved the day. Uh, well, yeah. I didn't even know you were in trouble. You brought it. Me? You were here. Ooh. I had a cameo in your little dream sequence? That's so sweet. You put the big one on me after I killed the other one. The other one? Angel, it was only one. No. Maybe you're confusing reality with your hallucinations? So she's trying to get Angel to look crazy and flip out. Yeah, I do that sometimes, after a long day. But you didn't change your earrings. Hey, I can't be held responsible for how you dress me in your fantasies. You did change your clothes, Eve. And I've never seen those earrings before today. Oh. What is it exactly she you think I'm She failed. But I'm pretty sure the senior partners didn't give me the reins to the law firm just to turn me into a vegetable. Mm-hmm. Playing your own game here? What do you think the partners will do to you after they find out about your little extracurricular activities? So things aren't going your way. And you're looking for someone outside your little circle to blame. Here's a thought. Maybe you should try looking inward. Unless you don't like what you see. I like this episode. I like what he did with this episode. Um, It was very different. And I, even if I didn't know that David directed this episode. It just feels different and it looked different, but in a good way. It was a good one. I wonder how many others he ended up directing or if it was just this one. And how many other things he directed? Like, I wonder if he's directed other things. I don't know, maybe like Bones or I know he's in a, another new show right now. Something to do with the, a military something or other, but um, I wonder if he has done more directing because I thought that that was very good. But anyway, uh, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next one, please feel free to check out my Patreon and the link in the description below. And if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.